your Thirsty Thursday here on SA Live. Today, if you're looking for craft cocktails, craft beer, all made locally, we've got you covered. We're taking you inside Torchwell Distillery for the full experience. Yes, you're coming along with us. Let's go. So Dortrill is the name of a Serbian neighborhood where Boy and the other co-founder is from. And so in Serbia, they make rakia. Rakia is a Serbian word for brandy. The type of brandy that we make here is an unaged apricot brandy. Two years or so after we opened, we ended up bringing on beer also. So High Will Beer is beer that we make here in-house. So we've got English-style beers. We've got some American-style beers, like West Coast-style beers. Everything uh, we do here is made in-house. Beers are made in-house. So you guys can check out the production facility and see what's going on back there. And here's what's brewing inside Dortrill. The head brewmaster knows his brewskis. He started off making beer in his garage. In here today, I made IPA. I made two batches of IPA. Right now, we're just waiting on the last batch to um, finish whirlpooling and settle out, and it'll get transferred in the fermenter, and it's already beer time. So in 2018, we were the fastest growing brewery in Texas. Um, our growth has been phenomenal, and we're keeping up with it on this little bitty seven barrel brew house. We're not here to make a product that's you know, not, not genuine and not real. We make our products here in-house, there's no marketing gimmicks. Um, so folks uh, would want to come here if they want to have a truly craft cocktail and a, and a truly craft beer, no-nonsense sort of beer made to a classic style. And no need to be intimidated when you come inside Dorchul. They have it all laid out for you. As you can see, all the drinks categorized. Our first drink we're going to try today is off the house classic menu. So the first cocktail we got here is the day and night cocktail. It's made with uh, this little bottle right here. Now this is the brandy that we make here that's been infused with strawberries and habaneros. So we'll put two ounces of that in this cocktail. Throw a couple of raspberries in there. We'll just roll all of this into the Collins glass here. And we'll just top it with some ginger beer. Give it a nice little fizz to it. And there you go. The next cocktail that we're going to do here is the Mother of Pearl. So I put an ounce and a half of the apricot brandy in here. And this one's made with the house-made coconut cream. And then we put a few dashes of absinthe in here. And then a half ounce of lime. Double strain into a nice Nick and Nora. Then we'll garnish it here with an edible orchid just because we're fancy like that. All right, the last amazing cocktail I'm gonna make for you guys is a south side. So put some narakia in there, put some simple syrup, just a half ounce of that. And then we'll do, again, some fresh squeezed lime. And then finally, we'll put a few mint sprigs in there. We just roll it all into the tumbler like this. Just kinda looks nice with all the little mint broken up in there. We've been here at this location for six years. Folks who have been here since day one have noticed that it's, it's changed a lot. Our patio is completely different. We're doing some construction work on here. We're gonna open up a second bar out here. Well, I think folks should come here because we're super genuine. We've built a great community and a great following, um, and folks like the relationships that we've built with them. Craft beer, craft cocktails, 100% local, but to get the full experience, you have to come here for yourself. They're open Thursday through Saturday. Just go to salive.com for more information. Cheers.